Melissa, Melissa, if you're new here, welcome. Back if you're not welcome. I do true crime in my videos. I talk about every true crime video possible on Friday. I do missing children case. Um, on the month of October, I'm talking about cases that happen during Halloween or just cases that happen in the month of October that has to do anything with Halloween. I know that on Friday, I do talk about missing children. But today, I'm going to bring you a case of a missing child that happened during the Halloween. And I wanted to bring this case up again if y'all have been here since day one that is one of my passions that's what i love to do is i love to talk about missing children i love it i literally have thought about making my whole youtube just about talking about missing children but i love talking about other true crime videos as well so i will see how that goes i may may not i just want to switch it up so before we start me talking and keep talking keep talking i will be <laughs> talking about this video i'm sorry i'm up uploading real late i was kind of doing a lot of stuff today a lot of stuff happened to me today so let's go ahead and get started so today we're going to be talking about steven and let's hear his story mm. so steven great demand was born december 15th of 1952 the son of jerry and marlene disappeared along with his sister pamela on october 31st of 1955 uh, he was left in a stroller in front of the bakery on Long Island, New York, United States. His sister was found unharmed in a few art yards from the shop. He was two years old at the time of his disappearance. Uh, the demand family received multiple different ransom notes, including one in late November of 1955, demanding 3000 which in today's money will be 32000 32, and then ten thousand and today would be a hundred and seven thousand and then fourteen thousand which today would be a hundred and fifty thousand in today's um time for his return though um though they were dismissed by police as ox or cruel pranks the ransom letter sent in late november turned out to be the queen's college student who had nothing to do with dams appearance and to 2009, John Mayers of Michigan came forward and suspect he may have been Damon. In 2009, John Baines of Cal Caliscat, Michigan, who dis sus suspect that he was Stephen Demand, underwent a DNA testing on Thursday, June 18th of 2009. FBI Special Agent Andrew Aaron released a statement saying the DNA sample analyzed by the FBI laboratory in Casino, Virginia, showed John. Bernice and Pamela Dem Horn Stephen Dan and sister did not share the same mother at two, as of 2022. Damon is still missing, and that is the short story of Damon. And I'm sorry, guys, this is a really short story, but I wanted it. I when I researched this case and I saw it, I had to, I had to bring it out. I had to bring this case out. I know that some of my missing case videos are really short, but guys this means so much to me i want to be their voice i want to hope and pray that these family of these missing children get answer whether whether you know they find the person that did it or whether they find the their the the baby's bodies i just need answer we need to keep talking about these cases technology is getting better and better you know serial killers are getting caught I never thought they were going to get caught. Murders are getting caught. You know, children are being found. And it could happen because of the technology we have. You never know. Somebody could come across this video and see themselves that one of our true crimes are talking about them. Like, like wait, that looks like me. You know, that is me. That sounds so familiar. Or I've known this kid. Or whatever the case may be, guys. Is You know, I'm not... I'm, I don't have a, an, a lot of subscribers. I'm not a, a like other true crimers like Bailey Sarian, um, Sherry Land. Um, there's so many s uh, murder with my husband. That's another uh, case. Uh, subscribers. I have so many. If y'all see my YouTube subscribe, y'all probably will have like something going on with me because it's half makeup subscriber and then half true crimer subscriber. I have every true crime you could think of in my subscribe list and it's you know they they're way bigger than mine they have a better bigger platform but just because i have a few subscribers does not mean that i'm gonna give up i don't look at my subscriber and because i don't want to be 
I don't want to have to break my my own heart saying because I don't have a subscriber. I'm not good at editing. I'm not. I don't do all that. I just upload these videos. I put them on YouTube and and you know and and just and just go on you know and just do what i gotta do and tell these stories and i love it and this is a passion of mine and i cannot give up for not just the kids but for every true crime story i talk about we have to be their voices and and you know to anybody that subscribed to my channel anybody that sees my channel thank you so much i appreciate it still to this day my longest video was the yolanda saldiva video i never thought that that video would even go that would get that much of you because I'm talking about Yolanda Saldiva. If you know me, you know I'm a love, 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 big fan of Selena. Love her. Been loving her since I was little. She would probably be amazing. She's still amazing even though she's not with us. But I don't, but yeah guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell. Notified if you want to, you can be notified by YouTube. Also, if you have any case that you want to talk about that does not it did not get that many it's not getting social media coverage or news coverage please leave a comment below i will take any case y'all would want me to do and i will gladly do it no matter what type of case i love you guys i will see y'all friday with a new case